My father went into the Marine Corps really young, a few months before his 16th birthday. He told me a story once about he had watched The Sands of Iwo Jima. And when he watched that movie, he decided that he was going to be a Marine. He would go to work, deliver groceries, but he had this workout routine. He said he would run, do push-ups and pull-ups to get ready for the Marine Corps. He wanted to learn as much as he could to be able to take care of his Marines. It was quite a few days of very intense battle. He went into quite a few rounds of enemy fire to rescue Marines. The only thing I was doing was just responding. The Marines, the young Marines, it shows them that it's not say, it's not do as I say, it's do as I do. Him and his best friend, Sergeant Gonzalez, who unfortunately passed during that battle, did a couple of really big things in that. You know, they had to charge a wall under enemy fire to be able to kind of get the main guns down so the company could move forward. Not having concern for himself, but getting the troops through what they needed to get through. I can't think of any other way or reason of where I would rather die than with my Marines. He did have some injuries during that. Those things didn't register to him because he knew and trusted that his fellow Marines were gonna be there, right? We're gonna take care of things. If he took care of the things he needed to, they would take care of the things that they needed to. His Marines, for almost 13 years, petitioned that his Navy Cross be upgraded to the Medal of Honor based on what they witnessed in the Battle of Way. And if you ask some of them that participated in that, it was for the, the love of my father, for people to know the impact that he had on the success of the Battle of Way. We went to Washington, D.C. We were there for about a week. They treated my father and myself amazing, right? There were members of the 1-1 that were there, but it was presented at the White House by the president at the time, and they pulled out all the stuff. The things that stand out in my memory are everyone sitting down at dinner and the stories and the appreciation for one another young service members or Marines coming up and, you know, them saying, hey, sit down, right? And they would sit for hours and talk. And, you know, those were the, the things that were the most special. He received the medal in 2018. In 2020, they called and said, hey, we want to name a ship after you. My father didn't see the ship in completion but we did go to NASCO, that's who built the ship, when it was in the process, and they walked us through, you know, the whole process from the first little piece of steel to how they get to this, you know, enormous ship. Then he came here the end of 2021. He passed in May of 22. Uh, we christened the ship in August of 22 and then handed it completely over to the Navy this last February. So it's now officially the USS John Canley. He was never one to wear the medal unless he had his, his uniform on. The medal was not about having it, you know, hung in the house or in a safety deposit box. He wanted that on the ship to remind those sailors that you achieve greatness together. And how you do that is by doing your best every day. The medal to him was not his, as he was awarded it, but it was all of those Marines. Because without one of them doing their best those days during that battle, they wouldn't have been successful.